So in this problem, we want to find the equilibrium constant for the overall reaction, C2H4 plus 6F2 in equilibrium with 2CF4 plus 4HF, all of those in the gas phase. So we're looking for Kc for that. What we're given are three equilibria um, that can be summed up to produce that overall reaction. Each of these equi equilibria have equilibrium constants associated with them. And so our approach is figure out how we need to rearrange these three equations to get the overall reaction, much like you did in chapter five with Hess's law. And then do whatever you did to the equations, do those um, equivalent ma manipulations to the equilibrium constants following the rules that we've discussed in class. So what I recommend doing now is pausing the video and trying to rearrange these three equations to get the overall reaction. All right, I hope you took the time to play it with that and come up with the overall reaction. So I'm gonna work this out uh, and sort of write what I'm going to do to each of the steps. We're gonna, I'm gonna label these step one, step two, and step three. Uh, I'm going to write out what I'm going to do to each of the steps and then do that thing uh, and write out a new K. So um, when, when I'm, what I see on the reactant side of our overall equation is that we have C2H4. The only place that shows up is in step three on the product side. So I'm going to reverse that reaction. I'm going to reverse step three. And so I'm going to have C2H4 gas oops, in equilibrium with 2C solid plus 2H2 gas. Now, because we reverse the reaction, um, we, need to we need to change K in the appropriate way. When you reverse a reaction, the new K, and I'm going to call this K prime 1, is the inverse of the original K. So it's going to be the inverse of 1.9 times 10 to the third. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. All right, the other thing that I see in our overall reaction is that we have two CF4s on the product side. And the only place where that's showing up, CF4, is in step two. There's only one of those on the product side in step two, so I'm going to multiply reaction two or step two by two. So the next thing is to multiply equation two by two. Okay. And so I'm going to have two carbon solid plus uh, four F2 in the gas phase in equilibrium with 2CF4 in the gas phase. And when we multiply an equation by a factor, we raise K to that factor. So we'll do, we'll call the new K, K prime two. And we're gonna say this is equal to uh, KC2 squared or 17.1 squared. The other thing showing up in the product side of our overall expression is 4HF. Uh, in equation one, we have 2HF in the product side, so we're going to multiply equation one by, by two as well. So we're gonna end up with 2H2 gas phase plus 2F2 in the gas phase in equilibrium with 4 HF in the gas phase. And our new K, we'll call this K prime three, is going to be equal to the original K squared, 0 0.39 squared. So if we sum up our three new equations, we'll end up with the overall C2H4 gas plus 6F2, so maybe I should be a little bit more clear here. We're gonna cancel out any reactants in 
products um, that or any products that show up again on the reactant side. Um, and there's the C2 and there's also H2 that shows up here and here. Okay, so we sum up our F2s. We have four in equation two and then two here. So we're gonna have six total F2. This is gonna be in equilibrium with our four HF plus two CF. Now, when we add up equations, we end up multiplying the, the k's together. So our new k, the k we're looking for, is going to be equal to k prime 1 times k prime 2 times k prime 3. Okay, so that's 1 over 1.9 times 10 to the third times 17.1 squared times 0 0.39 squared and that equals 0 0.025 that's our new k so the approach on this problem is to figure out what you need to do to the different steps to get the overall equation and then manipulate k in the appropriate way to come up with the overall value of K.